So in 2015, after our first date, I got sent away about five and a half hours on an overhead assignment when I worked for the fire department and I had to do overhead ordering for the equipment and I was gone for 45 days. In that 45 days, I'm not allowed to come home. I'm on the clock 24 seven or paid portal to portal. So I was always at work, even when I was off and I was working like 18 hour shifts ordering stuff. So it was a lot of hours. And she came, so we would talk every night on the phone whenever, or my time off was in the morning sometimes, it depended. And then like twice a week, we would have FaceTime um, dinners and or snack, charcuterie board, all kinds of different stuff. But we would just sit on FaceTime and chit chat and talk to each other. And we were able to do that a couple times uh, a week, at least two or three times a week, we did that with each other. And we were able to, you know, spend quality time together via Facebook or FaceTime and hang out. And she called me one afternoon and she's like, you're coming up on your 48 hours off. After 21 days, you get a 48 hour reset, but you still can't leave, you're still on the clock. So in case they need you, they can call you, but you don't have to go to the dispatch center for two days. So she was like, oh, well, where are you at? And I said, oh, I'm, at, I'm staying at the casino in the city I was in. She's like, oh, perfect. I'm about 10 minutes away. So she got a hotel room in the same place and we ended up staying there together for two days and we're able to actually go on an actual date and that's like one of the funny moments of our relationship in the very beginning when um, we were uh, getting to know each other she drove five and a half hours to spend 48 hours with me and during the daytime it was like the middle of the week i was off so she had her computer so she was able to do work stuff and i just hung out in the hotel room with her and was able to be with her while she worked. And then when she got off in the evening, we'd go to dinner and hang out for a couple of days. So that was kind of cool. And today it's molded us into what we are today. We have a great time together and uh, you have to wait and see what the next video is gonna be about because it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one that brings us into 2016. This is video two of my 10 part series. So stay tuned for that one. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.